Hello, soccer moms. I hope you all are having a fantastic day so far. And if you aren't, then I hope your day gets better. So last week, Nintendo finally announced Wave 2 was coming out. And it was just released this Thursday. I was super hyped for this, and I really is not, I don't really make that much Mario Kart content. Although it's one of my favorite games ever. So what did I do? I made content. Yeah. I was going to just rank the courses, but I feel like that's too basic and boring. And if you've been watching my videos long enough, you know that we don't do that here. So what I'm gonna do is give it a score based on different elements including track design, setting, music, and fun. This will give it an overall score going into my ranking of it. I'm going in order of the tracks, so this won't range from my least favorite to favorite tracks. Please respect my opinion as I kindly respect yours. Let's get on with the video. Psych, I lied. The video is not going to start yet because I need to credit Chase247 for the following clips. Um, these clips are not mine, they are um, Chase247's. Please check out their channel, um, it's linked in the description. Um, and yeah, and also happy birthday to my friend Hazel. Um, I hope your birthday is awesome today. All right, I sound like a dying chicken today, but let's go. Anyway, first up we have Tour New York Minute. I think this is a great course to race on, but it took me a minute to maneuver through this track and I feel like this is the city track with the tightest turns. I love the continued concept of having a different route each time. Or I, I should probably say lap, but um, anyway. And the music is really fun and jazzy. And it really makes you feel like I'm in New York. But the biggest complaint I have about this track is that it doesn't really accurately capture New York. I've only been to New York City twice, and although this could be a different city, I'm pretty sure this is New York City, as indicated by the large buildings and buses. I'm confused why they added this spooky looking setting to the beginning of the first lap, and I don't think New York has a red carpet, unless there's something I don't know about. The streets could have been busier, like Shroom Ridge or Toad's Turnpike, making it harder to maneuver through this course, especially on 200cc. Overall. I love the track as it's fun to race on and New York City may have changed since I've last been there but I doubt it. And for track design, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. For the setting, I'm giving it a 6 out of 10. The music is a 9 out of 10 and the fun is an 8 out of 10, giving an overall score of 28 out of 40. Next up, we have SNES Mario Circuit 3. This is a classic track and I'm glad it was added to the DLC. However, I was kind of disappointed. The old music to this was a banger and that bass part made it special, but now I don't really get the vibe anymore. Plus the track's unnecessary tight turns make me drive into the sand often, so I'm not really a big fan of the design. Although it is the most basic looking track, even more than Toad Circuit, I love the Super Mario Bros references along the track, like the piranha plants and the blocks and stuff like that. It's fun to rate you saw on, but it's not the most memorable. Overall, this is a good track, and I think it deserves to be in the DLC, as it's a classic, and Mario Kart can't really be Mario Kart without it. However, I have to rank it as the lowest in the Wave 2 tracks, as it is still bland, but the graphics are way better than that of certain Wave 1 tracks. <coughs> <laughs> for track design, I'm giving it a 4 out of 10. For setting, I'm giving it a 5 out of 10. For the music, I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. And for the fun, I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. Give her, giving it... Uh, bleh, I'm sorry, I can't English today. Giving it an overall score of 23 out of 40. Next up, we have N64 Calamari Desert. I was super excited for this course and so I'm a fan of playing it in other games, but I have to criticize each map and the desert setting is kind of bland. I mean, what do you expect from a desert? I mean, there's literally nothing there. But although the graphics are pretty good, the track is confusing. I don't know why they had to add a different route for each course, but I played Mario Kart Tour and I'm pretty sure 
that they had to um, incorporate like Calamari Desert 2 into that. And I think that's cool to include the element of um, the evolution of the track in the series. However, I need to give the, some complaints. First off, this shortcut, blah, 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 whatever I'm saying. However, I need to give some complaints. First off, the shortcuts are somewhat hard to pull off. And also, I keep running into the stupid train. Sorry, I lost my cool there. The track is narrow, so bumping into the train is a likely possibility unless you time your drifts just right to maneuver through the track without bumping into the train. The setting is cool, and I feel like I'm really in a desert whenever I play this, but there's not much to see in the background, and that makes me disappointed. At least add some Goombas or the spiky things and try to try blah blah blah, blah or whatever. Try dry, dry dry desert. I still can't English today. But the music is pretty cool. It's not my favorite though. For track design, I'm giving it a six out of ten. For the setting, I'm giving it a four out of ten. For the music, I'm giving it a seven out of ten. And for the fun, I'm giving it an eight out of ten giving it a total score of 25 out of 40. Last up in the turn cup is DS Waluigi Pinball. <sighs> Where do I begin with this one? This was my favorite course in the Wave 2 DLC when it was first announced, until I realized it has no shortcuts! <laughs> Why? I'm pretty sure a shortcut or two wouldn't have hurt. And you wonder why this is the longest track in the game, huh? Hmm, let me think. Oh yeah, that's right. It has no shortcut. Even Wario's gold mine has a tiny shroomless shortcut. Y'all are complaining about the changes Nintendo made to Coconut Mall, yet Waluigi's pinball has no shortcut. Okay, aside from my rant, the shack is actually pretty cool. I have to say, I love um, the sound effects for the item slots. Whenever you get an item, it kind of feels sort of retro and like video game stylish, like Pac-Man. I, I, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore, but you know, a throwback to like the earlier video games, like. Nintendo Entertainment System and stuff like that. But um, I love the pinball part. I think that's very creative and it's very tricky to dodge. And although the pinballs are annoying, I think they're <laughs> a great obstacle to add. Um, and I also love the music to this, but I don't think it should be exactly the same as Wario Stadium. And I was kind of disappointed. Overall, I kind of love the colorful setting and I think this is a fantastic course but unfortunately it has moved down from the number one spot because it has no shortcuts. Please forgive me Waluigi, my waifu. For track design I'm giving it a 5 out of 10. For setting I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. For music I'm giving it an 8 out of 10 and for fun I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. Giving it an overall score of 30 out of 40. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. Sorry that I sound really congested today. I'm sick currently. Um, but like and subscribe for part two, please. Until then, peace. And remember to stay hydrated.